Hello, primary five. How are you? Today we are going to revise elements. Well, what is the meaning of element? Here I'm having. Here I'm having iron nail. Do you think that we can extract any other substance like gold or aluminium from this iron nail? Of course not, because these nails consist of iron only, which can't be decomposed or analyzed into two or more other substance. So I can say that iron is an element. Here is carbon or graphite. I will ask you the same question. Do you think that I can extract or get out any other substance like iron, gold, or aluminium from the carbon? Of course not. So I can say that carbon is an element. Here is electric wire. The electric wire is made from copper. Again, the same question. Do you think that we can get or extract any other substance like gold or silver or aluminium or iron from this copper wire? Of course not. So I can say that copper is an element. To sum up, what is element? Element, it is the simplest form of matter that can't be analyzed or decomposed into two substances or more like the iron, like the copper, and also the sulfur. Well, I am having too many elements. There are more than 100 elements that, is found, that are found around us. I put them into two big groups, which are metals and non-metals. The metals exist in only in two states, which are solids and liquid. Solid like iron, aluminium, copper, gold, and silver. Liquid like mercury. Mercury, it is the only liquid metal. Mercury, it is the liquid that is found inside the thermometers that we use it to measure our body temperature. While the non-metal exists in three states, which are solid, liquid and gases solid like sulfur carbon or graphite graphite is other name for carbon and also coal phosphorus liquid like bromine bromine is a liquid substance or liquid element that its color is red and it's very very toxic element Gases like oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. So the metal exists in two states, solid and liquid, while the non-metal exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. The only liquid metal is mercury, while the only liquid non-metal is bromine. Okay, properties of elements. We will do some experiments to know the properties of elements. Here are some examples of elements, sulfur, copper, gold, and carbon or coal. When you examine these examples of elements, you will realize or you will see that the copper and gold look shiny while the other elements aren't shiny. So I can say that metals have luster, have luster mean they are shiny, while non-metals aren't shiny. The second activity, bring a hammer, bring carbon, uh, carbon rod, aluminium rod, and copper rod, and try to hammer them. You will find that the iron, the copper, they, are, they won't be broken down. Only the, sh the shape change or bend. So I can say that the, uh, the metals can be hammered or I can make shapes from them. 
while the carbon and the sulfur when I hammer them they will be broken down into small pieces they won't form shapes so I can say that metals are malleable and ductile malleable and ductile means they can I can make shapes from them they can't be broken down the, the shapes only change while the non-metals aren't malleable and aren't ductiles or they can't be hammered i can't use the hammer to form shapes of the non-metals because they will be broken down into very very small pieces so i can make shapes only from metals while non-metals i can't here is an electric circuit the electric circuit consists of battery lamp or bulb and wire and here supposed to be switch but i will remove the switch and i will try to connect the two wires with different types of elements for example i will connect the two wires using the pencil the carbon inside the pencil then i will use the sulfur put it instead of the pencil i will put the fork when I put the pencil, the light, the bulb lights up. While when I put the sulfur, the light, the lamp won't light up. When I put the fork, which is made from iron, the lamp lights up. So here I conclude that metals are a good conductor of electricity. All metals are a good conductor of electricity while the non-metals are bad conductor of electricity except carbon so the carbon it is the only non-metal that is that is good conductor of electricity while the sulfur the phosphorus are bad conductor of electricity here you will bring a flame and rods of different elements and I will stick here the wax I will find that I will find that the wax melts in the carb in the aluminium rod or in the iron rod and the carb and the copper rod while when this rod is made up of uh, carbon or uh, sulfur or phosphorus the wax won't melt. Why? Because the, uh, the metals are good conductor of heat. They transfer the heat while the non-metals aren't. So I can say that the metals are good conductor of heat while the non-metals aren't good conductor of heat. Okay. After I have known the properties of the metal and the non-metals, I need to know how I can get benefits from these properties. So, I will study now life application of some elements. For example, I'm having the thermometer. The thermometer, there is a liquid inside, which is mercury. So, the mercury is used in making thermometers. Why? Because mercury is good conductor of heat and it is shiny. So, I can read the temperature using the mercury because the mercury is shiny so I can see the numbers and I see where the mercury have stopped here the coins the coins are made up of copper why because copper is malleable and ductile I can make shapes from copper okay the kettle and the cooking utensil or the cooking pan, they are made up of aluminium or stainless steel. Why? Because aluminium and stainless steel are good conductor of heat. They conduct or they transfer heat from the fire to the food inside or from, from the heat. They can heat up the water inside the kettle. While the handles are made up of plastic or wood because they are bad conductor of heat so aluminium and stainless steel are used in making kettles and cooking pots because they are good conductor of heat while plastic and wood are used to make the handles of cooking pots and kettles because they are 
bad conductor of heat. The last element is iron. Iron is metal. It is malleable and ductile. So I can use it to make the lamp spots in the streets, the bridges, and also the car frames because also the iron is malleable and ductile. They can be hammered. I can make shapes from iron. Here is the last part of your lesson. So you have known what is element, classification of elements, properties of elements, and also some life applications of some elements. Hope you have understood the lesson. Thank you and see you soon.